please. Good morning. Please all kneel for our daily morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our Father, I offer you my day. I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit, who guided Jesus, be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love with Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church. I pray especially for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray that in social, economic, and political situations of conflict, we may be courageous and passionate architects of dialogue and friendship. I also offer the intentions of all my relatives, friends, and my personal intentions today. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungson. Prayer to Saint Joseph, Hail Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrust his only Son, in you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph to us too, Show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Friday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time, and it is also the memorial of St. Peter Chrysologus. We also celebrate this Mass in honor of our most sacred heart of Jesus.
morning, my sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank God it's Friday. You know, it's once again our devotion to the Sacred Heart. But uh, we will talk about TGIF in the Gospel today. Hindi pwede lagi familiarity. We're only happy pag Friday. No? Um, for the times we only want something special. We don't like familiar things. We don't like ordinary. Gusto lagi natin araw-araw piesta, araw-araw special. There is no such thing. For the times we're only uh, uh, inspired by the extraordinary, we pause for a few moments, we recall to mind our sins and experience the love and mercy of God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us. Grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold, as to hold fast even now to those that will endure forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, These are the festivals of the Lord, which you shall celebrate at their proper time with a sacred assembly. The Passover of the Lord falls on the fourteenth day of the first month, at the evening twilight. The fifteenth day of this month is the Lord's Feast of Unleavened Bread. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first of these days you shall hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. On each of the seven days you shall offer an oblation to the Lord. Then on the seventh day you shall again hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you come into the land which I am giving you and reap your harvest, you shall bring a shift of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest who shall wave the shift before the Lord, that it may be acceptable for you. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall do this. Beginning with the day after the Sabbath, the day on which you bring the wave offering sheaf, you shall count seven full weeks. And then on the day after the seventh week, the fiftieth day, you shall present the new cereal offering to the Lord. The tenth of the seventh month is the Day of Atonement, when you shall hold a sacred assembly and mortify yourselves and offer an oblation to the Lord. The fifteenth day of the seventh month is the Lord's Feast of Booths, which shall continue for seven days. On the first day, there shall be a sacred assembly and you shall do no sort of work. For seven days you shall offer an oblation to the Lord, and on the eighth day you shall again hold a sacred assembly and offer an oblation to the Lord. On that solemn closing you shall do no sort of work. This, therefore, 
are the festivals of the Lord, on which you shall proclaim a sacred assembly and offer an oblation to the Lord, burnt offerings and cereal offerings, sacrifices and libations as prescribed for each day. The Word of the Lord. Sing with joy to God our help. Take up a melody and sound the timbrel, the pleasant harp and the lyre. Blow the trumpet of the new moon at the full moon on our solemn feast. Sing with joy to God our help. For it is a statute in Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob who made it a decree for Joseph when he became full from the land of Egypt. Sing, Sing with joy, joy to God, God our, our help. help. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. Sing, Sing with, with joy, joy to God, God our, our help. help. remains forever. This is the word that has been proclaimed to you. Lord be with you and with your spirit the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to you Lord Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue they were astonished and said where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds is he not the carpenter's son is not his mother named Mary his brother his brothers James Joseph Simon and Judas are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many deeds, many any mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, a pleasant good morning, my sisters and brothers. Good morning, Paul. Today also, <clears throat> the second to the last day of the month of July, we honor St. Chrysologus, St. Peter Chrysologus. Chryso means gold. Logos is the, the word, the golden word, gold worded. He is the patron of homilies, si Chrysologus. Chrysostom, no? golden mouth. Diba? Alam naman yung Chrysostom. Basta gold, Chrysos. Ibig sabihin yung gold. Golden tongue, golden mouth, golden heart. Kinakwento ko no isang araw si Golden Heart. No? Sino ba si Golden Heart? Si... Kinakwento ko yung Olymp Olympics, di ba? Alam naman natin yung ating gold. No? The first gold. no Salamat sa Diyos. Pero walang sinabi yung mga ginto na napalalunan ng mga Olympics dahil sa silver na natanggap ni Ivan Fernandez, the Spaniards. I would repeat the story for the sake, very, very briefly. There's many things to talk about, but it's really worth celebrating no? the golden heart of Ivan. Akalan nung Kenyan runner, si Abel, sabi ni Abel, akala niya tapos na siya eh, una siya eh, gold. 
eh, short of the finish line. Kumara na siya, akala niya, tapos na. <laughs> Sabi niya, hindi, hindi pa. Yung pangalawa, si Ivan, kinulak siya para siya yung makatawid. No? At takantaka yung mga spectators. No? Takantaka. Bakit? Bakit mo hinayaan? Mawala yung gold? Gold ka na, Ivan? Binigay mo pa kay Kenya? No? Sabi niya, hindi ko kaya. Sikmurain sa loob ko. Tanggapin yung gold na alam ko naman sa kanya eh. Kay Abel yan eh. Eh, nagkamali lang siya eh. Dahil sa pagkakamali niya, I will take advantage. And I will be gold. Hindi ko kaya maksikmura, number one. Number two, yung turo ng nanay ko, sabi niya, pag mali, mali, hindi naman pwede, di ba? The value system implanted. Parang, wow! And then, I, he did not say this, but I will add, pero, isn't it, it is, it, gives hope in humanity. Magtiwala tayo sa tao. Kaya palang kabutihan. Eh, samantalang many years ago, I saw the preview of Chariots of Fire. I wish you can see it. One of the most beautiful soundtrack pala of all time is that song, Chariots of Fire. Grabe pala yung no? grabe pala yung uh, a Chariots of Fire na yan, no? yung soundtrack. And the movie is unbelievable how Eric Liddell, gold medalist na siya eh. Tapos yung in-announce yung race, Sabbath day. Sabi niya, hindi ako ba dito makbo, Sabbath eh. Sabi niya, ano? Nakiusap sa kanya yung buong England, pati na yung hari, pati na yung lahat ng yung prinsipe. Sabi niya, sige naman, para sa awa mo naman, sa para mo ng awa, no? tumakbo ka naman, ngayon lang naman, make an exception. Sabi niya, sorry, yung aking pananampalataya, hindi. Pinalindigan niya. Naku, dinagalit sa kayo yung buong England, no? nagalit sa kanya, no? kasi gold eh. So hindi siya tumakbo. Uh, the following day, merong race. Eric, I think, was the fastest man on earth. 100 meter dash. The next day, is a different race. Long distance. Hindi niya 40 yung long distance eh. 100 meter dash lang si Eric eh. Pero, nagkamali, nagkasakit. Nabaldado. <laughs> For some reason. So he was forced to stand. But he was never trained for long distance. But he did. As he was about to start the race, may nabot sa kanyang papel. Binasa niya. Tapos, hawak-hawak uh, niya yung papel. Tumakbo siya. And then, of course, you know, he won. Eric Liddell won. He won the race. No? He was holding in his hands the paper. No? Sabi niya, ano yung nakasulat? No? Uh, I am sorry, I forgot the exact words. Before coming down, I was trying to get the exact words of the scripture reading. But uh, if you stand for God, God will not abandon you. No? God will not forsake you. Ako bahala. And it gave him the courage. And he ran. And he won. No? And he's not only gold. Golden heart, the same way as uh, Ivan Fernandez. He did not win the gold. He was silver. Pero chura ng gold nila because of his golden heart. Innate. Eh. It is not a golden medal for, for Spain, nor is it a golden medal for Ivan. It is a golden medal for humanity. May pag-asa ang tao, ang kabutihan ng tao. Niloloko ko nga eh. Kung ako yun, baka pinatid ko pa yan, di ba? May 30 million yata ako. <laughs> Hindi yata 30 million. 100 million na yata ngayon, di ba? Papatiring ko pa yan. Pero that is all, yung ginto na yan, kukupas rin eh. Pero yung kaginto ang puso, 
will shine forever. No? What a beautiful reminder for all of us. No? Anyway, it is a beautiful reminder. Briefly, in the first reading, napakaraming festivals, ang daming piesta. The unleavened bread, the most popular, the feast of the Passover, the feast of the harvest, the day of atonement, the feast of the booths, tents. But maganda yung tents lang sa dami niyan. Eh, no? All is worth celebrating. But we will explain what it is. Every year, tumitira sila sa tent sa labas ng bahay nila. Nagtatayo sila ng booth ng tent to remind them. But once upon a time, they lived in tents. When they were expelled out of Egypt, they were staying in tents. They did not have the luxury of their mansions, but they lived in tents. Sometimes we are too comfortable in our comfort zone that we need a reminder like this to live in tents. And then on the gospel today, uh, yun nga, no? uh, over familiarity, no? too familiar. No? Gusto lagi na, eh, karpintero lang yan, kapitbahay lang namin yan, eh. taga tundo lang yan, eh. no? okay. sambahay ko lang yan. Eh. Ngayon, ngayon, no? wala akong bilib dyan. Pag walang bilib, wala eh. Yung, pag wala kang bilib sa doktor mo, Pag wala kang bilib sa paring yan, pag wala kang bilib sa teacher mo, wala. We have to believe eh. We have to do our share eh. We have to believe eh. If you believe, miracles will happen. You will see things. You will see. If you do not believe, you will not see. And lastly, do we believe in ourselves? Hindi ko kaya yan. Wala akong bilib sa sarili Ay, wala tayo mapapala. We have to believe. Uh, over familiarity with ourselves. Hindi ko kaya yan. Nako, ang hirap yan. Gold? Nako. Ni silver nga eh. Ni bronze nga eh. Hindi ko kaya yan. Talagang hindi mo kaya. Pero kaya ng Diyos. Allow God to shine. Allow God to shine. And He will shine. Allow God to work. And it will be a gold. Not just a gold, but a golden heart. We thank our saint today, Saint uh, Chrysologos, the golden word, the golden worded uh, preacher who inspires us. May we continue to be inspired by God's words. May invite you to kneel as we now have our perpetual novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, Divine you, Jesus have said, you have said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Behold us kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. We come to ask this favor. To whom can we turn if not to you, whose heart is a source of all graces and merits, where should we seek if not in the treasure, which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where must we knock if not at the door, through which God gives himself to us, and through which we go to God? We have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you we find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, we firmly believe that you can grant us the grace we implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and our prayers will be granted. We admit that we are most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for us to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon us a look of mercy, we beg of you, and your kind heart will find in our miseries and weaknesses a reason for granting our prayers. O sacred heart, 
Whatever may be your decision with regard to our request, we will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. Lord Jesus, be pleased to accept this, our act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which we sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by us and all your creatures forever. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon us, we beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant us the grace for which we humbly implore you. Through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful Mother, you have entrusted us to her as her children, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. To goodness, we have this bread and wine to offer, which earth is given. Human hands have made will become our spiritual food and our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. We pray, my sisters and my brothers, that this sacrifice in yours be made acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring from the abundance of your gifts through the powerful working of your grace. May this thing sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, our Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us a sure sign of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. With the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall. They may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity. We have Francis, our Pope, our Bishop Jose, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember Bambi and all who have died. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
na si Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may be married to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My sisters and brothers, we confidently pray. We believe in the Father. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By your mercy, help us free from sin, protect us from all anxiety as we wait the joyful hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to our apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the God of love who takes away the sins of the world, humbled and blessed are we who are called to receive you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ. Amen. For those who will receive communion, you do not have to leave your seats. Please stand, and the Eucharistic ministers will approach you. Do not take off or put up your face shield. Just remove your face mask. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of your love. Grant, we pray, that with this gift we may, the gift which he himself gave us, beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, after the Mass, because it is uh, 8 o'clock, no, we will go. I will just ask. And for those who, because you have to go back to work, I will just talk to you after the final blessing, if you don't mind. No? Maybe some reminders. No? Salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go with the love of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Salamat sa Diyos. Yung mga may date na, may appointment na, sige, pwede na kayo malayas, pasensya na. No? Um, but can we be seated for a while? Then we'll have the final song. For those who can stay, for those online, ikwento ko lang yung continuation ni Father, yung Eric, si Eric. Eh. He was born pala in China. Then he won. Missionary yung magulang niya. After he won, wow, daming offer sa kanya. Iniwan niya. Bumalik siya, nag-missionary siya. He became a missionary. Tinalikuran niya yung golden opportunities that came, di ba? So, it was a beautiful story. Uh, that of Eric Liddell. Anyway, uh, tomorrow is first Friday. Uh, next Friday is already first Friday. Uh, ang bilis ng panahon, tapos na naman yung buwan. Bukas, I invite you for the uh, silver wedding. Uh, sorry, silver wedding. Uh, Wedding naman talaga eh. <laughs> talaga naman eh. No? Tinali na kami nung 25 years ago. No? We celebrate our priest anniversary. It's called sacerdotal anniversary. It sounds very highfalutin, sacerdotal, presbyteral anniversary. But it is our priestly anniversary uh, tomorrow. Join us in the seventh. Same, 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 same. No? We thank God for uh, God's fidelity. Uh, we thank God. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll join the final hymn for those who can stay. Thank you.